Hi Tracy here. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create an ebook and a rendered image of your ebook for your landing page or from free um, uh, free tools found online. So they're all browser based tools you don't have to download and install any, anything at all. The first step is to create the text for your ebook. So I've got a um, article, a blog article here that I'm going to use as the basis of my ebook. So you probably need, you know, um, maybe a thousand words or more, depending on how big you want the the ebook. It's always better to have a really large font because most people won't print out the ebook. They will read it either on their iPhone, their iPad, or online. So if you can make it as as re readable as possible, the better. And pad it with some relevant images as well and also include links to your website and any other um, landing pages that you have. So here's my text for my ebook and it's five benefits of owning a WordPress website. Now I'm the platform that I'm going to create the ebook in, now that I've created the text, is canva.com. So Canva is has a free a free version and a paid version, but we only need the free version for this. So get yourself an account on canva.com. Then you want to create a design. And we're going to scroll down and use their ebook template. If you scroll down, you will see ebook. Click on that and it will open up in a new screen. We'll have a number of templates to choose from. And you can see how this template's got the little um, flick here in the corner. It means that this template has pages, page templates, whereas this one isn't. This one's just a book. So if I clicked on there, I could actually see the different layouts there. So I'm going to choose this template. And what you need to do in that case is click on each of the pages to create the page of your ebook. So if I click on there, see how it's created? It's created the first page of the, the cover. I'm going to click on add a new page, click on the next one, add a new page, click on the next one, add a new page, click on the next one. So they're the basic three, uh, four page, uh, three pages in the cover image here. So the first thing I want to do is edit the cover. And it's, whoops. Just got to make that text a little bit smaller so I can fit in and I might move it down a little bit. I'd like to think it was a bestseller but it's probably not. Um, And I can change the background image uh, that is there. So it's selecting those so I could change the color. I could also put an image back there by um, going in and 
selecting an image. Now with Canva they do have paid images as well as free so we'll just stick to the free I think. And there's not many free in Ocean. Not that one. So if we wanted that to go in the background, we'd have to stretch it out. It comes in. So I can change that color and I can also use um, change the the um, um, overlay so we're going to just See, if you look here, when you go into a range and go back, see these are all the layers. You can see that they're actually going back in the layers. And I'm just going to see if I can't delete the pink. So these are the other images that I've pulled in. Whoops. So if you make a mistake, you can just go undo. Okay, so I want to make a different image in the background. So once I've got rid of those, I can go and select the image. There we go. Probably not relevant, but. But it looks nice. Okay, so now we're going on to the table of contents. You won't know the pages. You're going to have to type these page numbers in. But because you've created the draft of the document, you know what the the um, the headings are going to be. But we'll just leave the table of contents for now, and we'll move down to here. It's got chapter two. Well, we want this as it's actually not it's actually benefits so we could call this benefit benefit one and we can change that background image to anyway you can see what I'm doing here suits now what we can do now that we've picked that color we can go back up to the table of contents and select the color there you go so I'm color coding this all and let's go into here this is where we're going to put the text so we're just going to in fact I'm going to duplicate that because I think before benefit one we're going to have a bit of an overview so I'm just going to go copy page and I'm going to move that page up one and I'm going to edit this text and put in the information there select all and then paste in the text that I've already got see how it runs over and we really do need to um, keep the the font quite big what we can do is now oh, oh, oh. 
what I've done is you can zoom in by holding down the shift the control key on a PC and scrolling in to get into the text now this text overflows so what I'm going to do is duplicate the text or duplicate that page and I'm going to delete some of that text um, So, whoops. And then here on this page, I'm going to go up from also. There we go. So, benefit one, and then we're going to put in benefit one. what I'm using is I can select all and then paste in that text now this heading doesn't look very very nice so I'm thinking we might add in a text box for the heading and we're going to go and insert text and we're going to make it, we could make it uh, heading and then hover over the four arrows, pull it up, make it a bit wider and then go down here and cut and paste and we don't need the number one because we've got the one on that page and we're going to change that font, uh, let's change it to Okay, that one. I'm not really sure about that font either. Let's change that. and we're making it you know put a bit of paragraph in there and we need to we don't we'll go back and put in the pages later so what I'm going to do is now I'll just pause the video I'll go in and create the others and then I'll come back and show you what I do with the page numbers and the content, uh, table of contents. Oh, what I forgot to tell you was once you've got the the first, say the first item, the first, um, yeah, the fi first item in your ebook, and you've got it designed how you want it, the easiest thing to do is just click on duplicate. For the next one so for benefit number two I'll just duplicate benefit number one and I'll duplicate that page there and then what I'll do is I'll go back up to this second copy and I'll bring it down one so now we've got benefit one and the text and a copy of benefit one and the text so this then will be benefit two Now because I've changed the font here, I think probably I should have changed the font there too. So what's that? Uh, So if I had done this before I'd copied it, um, I'd only have to do it once. Okay, so now I'm ready to do um, item two. So I'll put you on pause and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've brought in all the, all five um, items, all five headings and the text. But at the end of the book, I'm going to put a call to action. 
and I think I'll use this page here as the template for that. So I'm just going to duplicate number five, push it down to the end. So now it's see it's underneath, and I'm going to edit this um, with a bit of a call to action. So the blurb I'm going to put here is. the call to action and that's way too big a font so select all and bring it right down oops put it out Get rid of this line. Oops, see, it's annoying. Let's hit delete to get rid of that, and I'll get rid of that. And I'll put it in there. It's a little bit hard to read, isn't it? Oh no, move that down. So it's all a bit of a play to get everything um, you know, looking good, formatted. I don't think I like that there. I'm just going to delete that. Go back up into this text box. Type in... And what I might do, I'm going to get rid of that text box. I'm going to pull in a photo of me. And, oops, I think I needed that text box. Let's put in another text box. Because we need to put in my email address. Okay, so I might put in a image of me. Let's see what I've got in my uploads. Okay, so to upload your own images, you just click on upload or uploads and then upload own images. I'm just going to go into my pictures and I have one in here. Not that one. And you've just got to wait for it to upload. So this little indicator here will fill up and it's uploaded. Okay, now I can add that image. I'm going to just stick it in the middle of there. It's not really center. I'd even make that a little bit smaller. Mm, I have to make it bigger to cover up those, the background of that image. Probably still not in the middle. It's pretty close. Okay, so now we need to, to number the pages. So the first page is never numbered and the second page isn't numbered. So this one will be page 01. And then 02. That would have been 03. So this is 04. 05, 06, 
10. Now see what's happened on that page there. It's gone over. Now I could split that post, in, uh, that that text into two. But if it's really important, maybe um, yeah, maybe I could uh, duplicate that one and spread it out over two pages. So then we've got. Actually, we probably don't even need a heading there. There we go. And we will just move that up and take that bit off. And then it'll be 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now we just need to do the table of contents. Now this is not allowing, looks, you know, it's only got the three entries, which means we'll have to create some additional ones. We'll just go, might just change the layout a bit so we can get them all in. And the first one, change the font, and make it smaller. In fact, what I'm going to do is I will bring that across and move that one up so it's on the end. Okay, so instead of trying to change these ones, I'm just going to highlight those and delete them. Just going to bring this one down a bit. And then I'm going to highlight those two. So what I'm going to do is drag around them so they're selected. Then I'll go copy and then drag the copy down. And then go copy, drag the copy down, copy, drag it down. So we need one more copy. As long as they look fairly roughly right. Um, now we just need to go and put the other text in. Break that up onto two lines. Okay, so now we need to go and do the page numbers. So save on design was on page four. That's right, page four. And then it was six, eight, and 10, and 13. Six. Oops. Six. Eight. Ten. Thirteen. Now, those fonts are wrong, so we're just going to go in and change the fonts to. Uh, yeah, that's the one we had. And they 
is our table of contents. I'm going to change the fonts on these two. So I'm going to select all of them. See how I'm dragging around them? And it's select, whoops. Selecting them all. Okay, it's not letting us do it that way. Yep, no, it won't let us do it, so we've got to do one at a time. We'll go... going to bring those down so I'm going to just drag across them and just shimmy them down a bit with my down arrow and then just have a quick flick through and then we're done okay so once you've done your ebook and you're happy with it what you need to do now is download it so we go up to download now there is no save button it's actually just saved all the time like it's continuously saving so you don't need to worry about saving and to download you just click download now a ebook is usually a PDF so that's PDF and you're going to download all pages so that's right so download that And save it but what we've also got to do now too is to create a render of the ebook to put on your landing page we need to create an image of the front page of that that cover image that you've created so you next time or this time we're going to download but we're going to download as a JPEG and we're only going to download page one because we only want that cover image okay so that's downloaded now I need you to if you have some editing software some image editing software that's great you'll be able to pull the image that I'll send with this video of the template for the ebook render but if you don't have any software that you can use then there is an online platform called Pixlr, P -I -X -L -R dot com, and it's a free online image editing tool. Once you're in Pixlr Editor, um, you'll need the URL of the image template that I'm going to give you, and it should be with this video. Um, and what you want to do is create a new image. Well, actually you don't sorry you need to open an image from URL if you're downloading the image then you would open the image from your computer but you can do it straight from a URL so open the URL and what you want to do is paste in the link that I'll give you and that is the template that we're going to use so what we're doing we're, we're going to overlay this image with the image that we created of the front cover of the ebook from Canva. So we need to add the layer with that image on. So we're going to go image, no, we're going to go layer, open image as layer. Then we're going to go and find that image we just created, which is this one here, five benefits.jpg and we're going to go open now see how big this image is it's actually taking up the whole screen so the first thing we need to do is make that image smaller so we can use it we're going to go into edit file transformation and we're going to hold down the shift key on a pc at, and make that image smaller see how it didn't distort it's actually completely 
um, in the right ratio. Whereas if I just grab that, it, I would be screwing it all up. So I'll just go edit. Whoops, no. So we're going uh, edit, free form, then making sure we're holding down the shift key on a, on a PC and dragging down so that the image is more manageable and about roughly the same size. The next thing we need to do, if we click on there, we've just got to go yes because we've you know, it wants to accept the changes. Yes. Go on edit and free distort. Now what free distort does is allows you to move the image corners around like that. So now what we can do is we can place the image corners on the template there making sure it covers up that white area on top of the template Okay, so when you when you think you've got it, just click anywhere and it'll ask you to save and apply changes. Now you'll notice if I um, scroll in, you'll notice this bit is hanging over a little bit. What I could do is go edit, free distort, but what will happen is, see now it's created a square um, se selection there with the book in front in inside it or the cover inside it and if I try and distort that it will actually distort the whole book but it's not doing such a bad I bad job there. See sometimes it's better just to go no, go edit, undo, go back to the original, then go free distort and do it again making sure that you have you're inside that white box okay that'll look oh, it's kind of there anyway so um, when you're happy with it and um, obviously you can get these done professionally but I promised I would do this whole ebook on free software and so far I'm doing it on free software. So now we can just go and save it. Now you, we want to call it the same as the ebook so it's five benefits. And we want to save it as a PNG. Now the reason why we're not saving it as a JPEG is that JPEG won't do, uh, won't bring across your transparencies. And we want the transparency because we don't want the box, the book sitting in a big white box. We want it to sit on the, the landing page or the opt-in page, whatever software you're using. We want it to sit so it looks, you know, real and, and nice on the page. So. We're going to go down and select PNG and you'll notice that the grey and white squares are back. The grey and white squares denotes transparency so don't panic um, if you see the grey and white squares. So now I'm going to go OK and I'm going to save it and in a second I will bring up the ebook cover saved. Mm -mm -mm. There it is there. So I'll open that up for you and that's it there. So look, it's not it's not um, gonna win any awards for you know prettiness, but for something that's free to get you started and get something on an opt-in page, you can always get it done professionally later on through Fiverr or Upwork, or if you have Photoshop you can use scripts that do all this very very quickly which is what I use but I promised I would do this for free and with all online 
um, application so I've done that and now I have a PDF of my ebook I have a render of my ebook and I have the front cover if I needed um, to use that in any promotional marketing material okay so if you have any questions whatsoever um, leave them with this video and I will get back to them and um, answer your questions there's my the ebook let's have a look so that's the ebook what I could have done actually is included my website my phone number um, but uh, you can do that so that's the PDF and obviously you're going to have to upload the PDF um, somewhere that people can download it if you're using lead pages you can do it through lead pages if you're using your own website then um, you upload it through the media library and then take the link and insert it into your opt-in page and then hyperlink it on the book if you have any questions let me know and I'll be happy to answer them bye